If you are interested in running online ads for motivated seller leads, stay tuned till the end of this video because what I'm about to break down is how we are going to drive traffic for our virtual wholesaling business model from Google PPC, from Facebook ads, and from Bing ads. And if you haven't yet watched our last video on virtual wholesaling, stay tuned to the end of this video because there'll be a link for it that you can click on and watch it at that point. But before I begin, hit the like and subscribe button and we will jump into the content right now. The first thing we need to calculate is an average spend we can have per deal that we generate. So let's jump onto the iPad right now and calculate this out. Okay, so first going into the average marketing spend per deal. Okay, so an average deal size, that's the first thing that we need to identify in our exact marketplace. So in Milwaukee, we're gonna shoot for an average assignment of $12,000 per assignment. So if we can do that, I would be comfortable, because our overhead isn't extremely expensive, I would be comfortable spending up to $4,000 per deal. So if you're doing this in your business and you're like, Carter, I need to be extremely profitable. I can't be at a 66% a profit margin. I need to be at a 80% a profit margin or whatever it is. Then obviously change the numbers so they work out for you better. We are comfortable spending $4,000 to earn $12,000. So now that we have the basics of it set up, we're comfortable spending $4,000 to generate $12,000. So we have a profit margin of roughly $8,000. How much do we need to spend or how many deals do we want to do in a year? And I would say we want to try and at least do 12 deals a year in the Milwaukee area. And hopefully some of them will be more than 12,000. Some of them might be less. But if we're looking at doing 12 de deals a year, then we need to spend $48,000. So $48,000, if that is broken down on the monthly basis, obviously that's the $4,000 per month, but how much is that per day? So $4,000, if it's broken down over a 30-day month, that equals $133 per day in ad spend. So if we spend $133 per day, if we wanted to do that on Google Ads, we can. If we wanted to do it on Facebook Ads, we can. If we wanted to do it on Bing Ads, we can. But if we're doing all three of them, we are typically going to spend more than that on a daily basis. It's just a numbers game. The clicks are very expensive. The cost per click is up there. So we need to spend more than $133 in our business in hopes that we're gonna generate more than 12 deals per year, which I, I don't have a doubt in my mind that we will, but it's just something to take into consideration. You want to figure out your numbers up front so you're not surprised two or three months down the road. Okay, now that we've figured out how much it's gonna cost us per day on Google Ads, on Facebook Ads, on Bing Ads, now we can start building the, the website out to drive traffic too, because that's what we're doing. We're driving online traffic to a landing page or a website to convert into deals. So what we do in our business, we drive everything to our carrot site, which I will show you right now on my computer. And as you can see here, this is the landing page that we're going to be using. And it's just a simple carrot site. This is a very stock site. We're accredited with the Better Business Bureau. So of course we have that there, but it says get a cash offer for your Milwaukee home with the click of a button. So obviously it'll prompt them to fill in the property address, phone number, email, and then they'll click for a cash offer. Uh, but again, this is a very basic site. We don't really have any testimonials on here. I actually just created this site a couple days ago for this example and to try and drive Google Ads traffic to and see if we can get a better cost per conversion. So we have the site established, we have our cost per deal established. Now we need to start driving traffic. We need to start running ads and we do that through the Google Ads system. So you need to create a Google Ads account and then within that account, we can start building out the ad system as I'm about to show you. So the first thing that we're going to break down is the Google Ads system. Now Google Ads is extremely complex and complicated. So what I would recommend is diving into Google Ads a little bit further, taking some tutorials. Send me an email at carter at carterppc.com. I'll send you my, my tutorial for the Google Ads system. So once you're on the main page of Google Ads, like I've showed you in past videos of mine, which again, I can link up down below in the description on how to start your first Google Ads campaign. But you'll first go to create new campaign. Then we are going to be creating a 
um, search campaign, we're going for leads, obviously. It's, it's fairly simple there. Um, and then we'll click continue, kind of breeze through this really quick. You can name your campaign whatever you want to name it, but we want to appear on the search network. You can get rid of the display network. And then again, target it down to the specific location that you're driving traffic from. So if you're doing business in Milwaukee, obviously select Milwaukee County. If you're doing business in um, New York City, select traffic from New York City, whatever you need to do. And then now in the budget space, this is where our first part comes in. For the budget, we are going to put what we determined a little bit earlier in this video. So the $133 per day I can afford to spend on Google Ads in hopes that it'll generate us one deal per month, which I have no doubt in my mind it will do that. So I'll put the $133 a month in that box, and then what do you want to focus on? So for the bidding type, what we want to do is deselect everything, and then we want to click manual cost per click. Now manual cost per click versus the other bidding strategies, it's it can be complicated if I really dig into it, but again, I highly recommend just emailing me, take my short course, it's 100% free, um, carter at carterppc.com, send me an email. But after bidding, of course, you'll want to set up your conversions within your account that you can um, put through the carrot site, and then add rotation, keep that as best performing ads, and then you can add any extensions that you want. And now after this, you're gonna start setting up your ad groups, you're gonna start creating your ads. And what I would personally recommend is when you're doing your ad groups and you're doing your keywords and everything like that, have them segmented down. I only am running a campaign with three different ad groups. And as you can see here, the ad groups are simple. We buy houses, sell my house, cash buyers. So you can see what I have is the max default cost per click, 20, 25, and 25. Now the bids within each ad group, the keywords within each ad group, again, the bids are going to change, but then we can go into our ads. So our ads are fairly simple. Sell your house fast Milwaukee, no repairs, no realtors, we buy houses in Milwaukee. It's all the same stuff, just repeated in different formats, in different phrases. So once you have the Google Ads campaign set up, you can click publish, you can start driving traffic to your page. And just so you know, you're going to have to monitor this Google Ads account on a daily basis, especially when you get it up and running. So after you get your Google Ads campaign up and running, next is is Bing Ads. Bing Ads is very simple. So what you're going to do for your Bing Ads account is you are going to import your Google Ads campaign. And you might be thinking, Carter, how the heck do I do that? There's, there's Google, there's Microsoft, uh, Microsoft obviously owns Bing, but it allows you, there's a feature that allows you to import your campaign from Google Ads to Microsoft Ads or Bing Ads. Um, and that's what I would recommend doing. Now, will this function 100% the same? Will your bids be 100% the same? And the answer is no. Typically speaking, Bing Ads is a decent amount cheaper than Google Ads, so monitor it, watch over it, make sure you're not overspending or paying way too much on a cost per click basis. And what I would recommend doing is lowering your bids by about 40 or 50% from what you're bidding on Google Ads. That is the difference that you will see within the Bing Ads platform. Now what I want to make you aware of within Bing Ads is you will not receive as many conversions as your Google Ads account will receive. Now lastly, going into Facebook Ads, how are we doing this, what are we running? You hear so many different stories and I'm going to keep it simple for you right now. So on Facebook Ads, let's jump over to my computer and I'll show you exactly what we're doing to have success with Facebook advertising. So as you can see here, we only have four different campaigns set up in Facebook ads and they're very simple. There's a cold conversion campaign, there's a cold video ad campaign, there's a warm conversion campaign, there's a warm video campaign. So now let me break down what each of these mean. The cold conversion is just a display advertisement. So what that means is, um, let me just pull up an example for you. So you can see on a cold conversion ad, we are just, we're asking the person to take some sort of action immediately. We're asking them to get a cash offer on their property, and it's very simple and straightforward. It's a display advertisement. Now how those differ from the cold video ads is, a video ad is just explaining what we do as a cash home buying company. I would highly recommend running the video ads because then the property owners get a better comfortability with you, the investor, and you will have a higher conversion rate running the cold video ads. But now, where do the warm and cold audiences differ? Well, a cold audience is people you have never talked to or have never seen your ad or have never interacted with your website. 
warm audiences have done all of those things. It's basically a retargeting campaign in video format and display or conversion format. So now that you have the idea, now that I gave you the three different lead platforms that we are going to go after in our business, you can choose to do the same. You can follow along with us on this journey of starting to virtually wholesale in another marketplace. But if you have questions, comment down below, send me an email, do whatever you need to do to reach out and I will do my best to answer them. And lastly, if you received any sort of value from this video I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like or subscribe button it does help tremendously and I'm putting out more content every single week but I wish you guys the ultimate success and I will see you in the next video